So after trying out that Hudson Bay cap knife, uh, I was kind of impressed and unimpressed about the knife for a few things. I mean, I liked, I liked a little bit of the look of it, uh, but it came in kind of bad shape. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, I tried it out on a, on a couple of outings and kind of decided, you know what, maybe this isn't for me. Uh, and then when I went out for my overnighter, me and my brother were messing around. He needed a knife to bring and he wanted to try that, uh, that big chopper that I had. So <clears throat> I went ahead and brought it in. And we had some fun throwing it against a tree and all that stuff and had a good time. But uh, while I was messing around with it a little bit, I did discover the value of it is having a nice big chopper on your belt uh, when you want to have some, have some chopping fun or not have to use your axe. <clears throat> so um, a lot of times when you have, uh, you know, you have uh, an area that's really, really thick and you want to clear a path and all that stuff, uh, an axe being too top heavy, uh, swinging it around all the time, is kind of clumsy, doesn't really do the job for you. Uh, a larger blade with a big with a big edge on it uh, tends to work much better so uh, I was kind of thinking you know I'm rolling through these woods here a lot and quite often there's just tons of tons of leaves and branches and sticks and stuff that's in my way so I decided you know what it's time for me to get myself a chopper did a little looking around uh, nothing too crazy I knew what I was looking for I wanted something to have a decent amount of power with um, with not too much weight to it. So I didn't want it to be uh, a burden because if that's the case, then I might as well just carry my ax. So uh, I found something. Uh, I seen a couple of reviews on it and a lot of guys are saying it's pretty damn good. So what I picked up was the CRKT Chance in Hell. Uh, I'm not gonna go into any of the specs uh, off of hand. I may just put them up here uh, and uh, write them in there. Uh, this isn't gonna be a review. This is just gonna be Let's take a knife and chop some stuff and uh, see if it makes me smile or makes me frown. Uh, that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. I got a bunch of uh, standing dead around here or, uh, and fallen dead uh, that we can go around and just start swinging on this thing. Uh, but I'll give you a couple of, uh, I'll give you a quick look at, look at it first. Uh, the knife is designed by, uh, by Ken Onion. You can see that right here. It's called the Chance in Hell. It's got a really nicely designed handle. And it's cool because a lot of the, um, a lot of the machetes I've seen have that straight handle that comes out. But this one, with it coming down like this, kind of gives you more, more, um, you know, wrist chopping action. You can kind of really just kind of tack away at it. And if it was a straight, a straight handle, you would only go this far. So with the, uh, the extra angle on there, you could really uh, get some extra power in your swing, even with just some light chop chopping like this. And uh, anyway, let's just stop yapping about it and start chopping some stuff. All right, so before we get into any crazy chopping, uh, I just want to let you guys know that everything is perfectly straight on this guy. The, uh, it's decently sharp and uh, we got a decent piece of breech here. Uh, so we'll see if we can cut and chop right through this and uh, we'll see how many swings it takes. All right. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. That was all right. So this is really a knife made for clearing brush and chopping uh, saplings and that kind of thing, uh, heavy removal. But uh, maybe we can get some kind of um, feather sticking or finer work done with it. Let's take a look. Definitely not the best, best feather sticker I've used. Yeah. 
Eh, definitely not the best I've used, but I think uh, there's probably a better way to do this. Let's see. Oh, those are looking a little bit better. Now, just to be on the fair side, this is the first time I'm using this knife. So, there is gonna be a bit of a learning curve. That's why I don't wanna call this a review. I haven't had nearly enough dirt time for it yet. But, I think those are definitely looking much better than uh, just the beginning and very usable. So, decent feathers. So, all right, see how it chops finer stuff. I got this uh, little branch here. Seems to be good and hard. I'll try just to use like a, like a wrist. Yeah, no problem. We got a dead old sapling here. Let's see if we can take it down. Wow, that thing sinks deep. All right, so we took that guy down. You can see he's got some very deep, very deep slices in there and it uh, took it pretty well. Let's try a couple of downward chops, see how it does. Tell me this thing really bites. Ah. So guys, I was looking for a chopper and it appears I've found one. This thing's uh, pretty awesome. I mean, we're able to take down some small saplings, uh, removing bark by using it as a draw knife. Um, you know, it'd be possibly uh, be uh, very handy to make, uh, make a bow also with, because it's got that long flat edge. You can curl under, grab it like this maybe, and then just pull it forward to you just to peel off, you know, get your tillering going. Um, chops really nice. Everything's pretty good. Uh, and even all those considered, I mean, I was chopping pretty hard through some really hard wood. I mean, a lot of that was beech I was using, but the, um, the coating seems to hold up pretty well. The only thing I'm wondering about is, I wonder if this thing will strike a ferro rod. So I got a little guy here that I keep with my, uh, it'll spark even with that coating. Look at that. Decent 90 degree edge. It actually sparks pretty pretty well. Sure, guys. When you get the whole kit, this is what you're getting. You have uh, your whole knife, your knife, your sheath. Uh, the sheath is a nylon sheath. I'll give you a close up of that. You got your C C uh, CRKT logo there. And you've got a couple of connections. This one snaps it closed. This one slaps it closed. And this one comes over the top of your uh, of your finger guard there and holds it in. Now, um, all things considered, uh, I don't even use this one here. I just leave it closed. Uh, when I want to get in, I pop these two guys here, and then the knife comes out nicely. Uh, no problem at all. So there's one thing I want to show you about this sheath that I, I tend to really like, is when you open it up on the inside, it's all plastic. Listen plastic inside there so a lot of the uh, nylon sheets I'm always concerned about sliding sliding my knife in and I actually end up uh, eventually cutting through it or um, or piercing through it or whatever it is but with the plastic it kind of gives you that extra um, you know that extra confidence that your that your sheath is not going to fail you so seems to be pretty durable pretty tough pretty well made 
has options for the um, for a dangler carry and a regular belt carry and uh, I carry it with the regular belt carry and I'll show you why in a second let me get this uh, set up sorry guys you can see right now where I have it on my belt has a belt carry it's right here it's comfortable it's not too heavy um, it comes down to just about my knee now with a dangler on there if I had the dangler on it would be down to about here now when you're trying to work and do things and get onto your knees you don't want your knife point digging into the ground all the time now uh, right now I'm, I've got about three inches from the ground don't have to worry about it touching getting all dirty or hitting it and trying to chunk it into my waist or nothing like that so I just leave it like that it's still the design of it still has enough room to make it swing around and dangle when you walk it doesn't tend to slap around or make much noise or anything so I'm kind of digging the sheath I think the sheath is all right now all things considered it's still perfectly straight bevel's pretty nice that's chopping into some hard wood no issues to the edge at all no shiny bits Oh, there you go. The only thing that's kind of weird is that when you swing it in there, it really, really sticks. Because the blade profile is so thin, the handle is very comfortable. And if you want to get a little bit more power, you can choke down just a little bit. You get the three finger action going on, and it stays right where in your hand. It doesn't slip around. It's kind of got like a, a pattern like a football handle or a football on there. Hopefully, you can see that. It's kind of like a football, and it uh, has a nice grip to it. Sorry, guys. Like I said, I don't want this to be a review, so I'm not going to go too much into it. But uh, I'm ho I hope you uh, you enjoyed uh, coming along with me for this, uh, you know, this quick look at the uh, CRKT uh, Chance in Hell uh, Ken Onion uh, design. Uh, this is the first time I've had it out, the first time I've tried it. Um, uh, I came out here and I decided, okay, we're just, we're just going to get some feeling of it or whatever it is. And I wasn't even planning on doing this video, but I figured, hey, why not? We'll uh, put another another one out this week and let the guys see what what they're going to be looking at in the next couple of weeks. Um, after after trying um, that uh, Hudson Bay cap knife, I figured, you know what? Having a chopper has merit, uh, but um, not that knife. <laughs> that knife is a lot of fun to throw, though. So uh, we'll be keeping that one around just for that reason. But... Uh, this guy, this guy chops like a beast, and it's um, a few things that I've noticed off the off the bat. Uh, chopping um, hardwood with it, uh, it tends to once you end up going into it when you're chopping with it, it it hits and it and it tends to bite and stick, uh, and it's, it can be hard to pull out sometimes. Um, but that's because the profile of the blade is so thin. It does have like a uh, I don't know like a like a bevel on it. You can see it like there, and then it goes to like a V edge, but. Um, it does help popping out a chip a little bit, uh, but um, it could probably use a little bit more belly there to, uh, you know, to, um, to pop out the chip and not get stuck as much. But uh, all things considered, uh, a machete is designed not to be another axe. It's designed to clear brush. It's, it's designed as a machete is supposed to be. They are supposed to be thin. And uh, the good thing about that is, is that you're not going to be carrying all that extra weight on the front end of your blade for um for chopping and i think that's why they put the handle like this on there so when you grab your handle and you're going to chop something you want to chop through something you don't want to chop into something so as you're coming down your hand's going to pass your target before your knife end hits it and that gives you uh more power on the swing and that's probably why they were able to get away with such a light handle a light uh a light blade so all things considered uh i'm really digging this so stick around, uh, stay tuned guys, you'll be seeing more of this knife out there. And uh, uh, I think uh, someday soon I'll be doing a, um, a one stick fire of this knife and we'll see uh, how it performs with that. Uh, this was just uh, to get a first impressions and see how it feels. So I think that's gonna be the title, is the CRKT Chance and Hell First Impressions. And uh, that's it. So uh, maybe another day I'll be putting, um, I'll be doing a, a full fledged um, video on this uh, as a review, but for the time being, uh, you guys get out and explore. I'll see you in the next one. And uh, I'm going to go home before these mosquitoes completely eat me alive. Even the deet's not helping today. So, take care.